Hey, how you doing? Greg Wilder here with another tutorial for DNG Productions and Whippets.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a cool title or introduction title for whoever you've got in your video, like we got Brendan over here. Let me show you what I, I did, and then we'll recreate the whole thing. This is a little clip that I shot while I was on vacation in, uh, in Iraq, basically. Going through Baghdad, this is my buddy Brendan. I'm going to show you how to make a cool title like that using some graphics from Whippets.com, W-I-P-I-D-Z.com, and some simple layers. You know, it's going to look pretty cool. All right. Let's first start by creating a new sequence so that we can start fresh. New sequence. Da, 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 da. We'll make it a uh, standard definition, NTSC. And here is our blank timeline. And first thing we're going to do is drag over uh, this little, uh, yeah, I was messing around with the, after we did the documentary, I was messing around with a little video, made a little music video of our, our journey with stills and images. So let's uh, zoom in a little tighter on this, and let's just pick what we're going to be using. Well, uh, well, there I am. We'll skip, we'll go right to when we started hitting the Baghdad border there. And we'll drag this all the way over and drag this to the beginning. And the first thing we need to do is find uh, a clip of Brendan that we're going to use. We're going to create a still image and then we're going to erase all of the background except for Brendan. So find a nice little clip, go a few seconds in. Here we go, right about there. And we will file export we're going to export just a still frame go to media and it's already set for tiff and we will then ntsc tiff we will bring the timeline over since it's at about 227 we'll bring the end of it to about 227 and make sure that it's going into my uh premiere pro intro titles and we'll call this Brendan 2, because I already created uh, 1, and hit replace. I also created 2 on my original tutorial, which I screwed up and had to start again. Hit OK. The media encoder comes up, and we will hit Start Queue, because everything should still be set up. It should take it about a second. And there it is. Bring up Photoshop, File, Open, Find Brendan 2. Okay, that's it, Brendan 2, 1. And here's Brendan. First thing you need to do is unlock the background. Double click your image in the layers. Hit OK. Now we want to start get rid of the background. Quick and easy way to do it is pick the magic wand over here on your upper left in your toolbar. And well, I'm using a Mac, so it's uh, Apple X or Command X. On a PC, it would just be Delete. Mm, we'll delete this, delete this, and we'll pick a big erase tool. It's a pretty good size, but it's feathered, so we will go to hardness, and we will make it 100% hard, and we'll just start erasing. It doesn't have to be perfect, because it's going to blend in well with the, the actual graphics. I mean, if you want to be perfect, you can take the time, but most of the time, you really don't have to be perfect with this. As you can see, I'm not really worrying about it. And we'll scoot a little over here, bring our erase tool down a little bit. Just make it look nice. Come up, and there we got a little over here. And what I like to do is create another layer. So you go to the bottom right, hit New Layer, drag it underneath the existing layer, and I like to use a green, because usually nothing in a video or a still image is this ugly green. Pick a green, pick the, uh, the paint bucket, drop it in there, and now you can see all of the little imperfections that you may need to get rid of. You may, sometimes you don't have to. Go back to erase, and I know that this white line around his face is going to show up in the graphic, so I'm going to highlight him, his layer, and it doesn't have to be perfect again. You know, we'll just make it look good. And bring it down a little. We want to make Brendan look good because he's a good man. Uh, as nobody else I'd want to go convoying through Iraq with. And Mr. Brendan here. Make it a little nicer. 
All right. Go to our navigator tool. Bring it all the way down. Well, not all the way. All right. It looks pretty good. We'll just uh, then we'll delete or drop into the garbage bin, the bottom layer, and save it as a PNG file. PNG is the best format to save it as when you're going to put it in video because it creates, uh, you don't get all of those jittery lines around the edges. So we will go to format, PNG, we'll, call, we'll leave it Brendan 2.1, hit save, interlace it, uh, it's just force of habit, I don't think you need to with the, the uh, TV standards nowadays, and save it. Go back to Premiere, file, import, uh, Brendan 2.1 PNG, there it is, and we will drag it right on top, and we should still be, if you, if you look at the timeline here, the little scrubber, it should be exactly where I froze the original image, so if we play it, bring it right to the edge there, yeah, you'll see that the image is right on top of it, if, if that makes any sense. Sorry if I'm not so clear. Alrighty then. Now what we want to do is we want to we want to use the razor blade tool here. You can hit C or just go to razor blade and we want to cut the original clip right on is my snapping on? Good enough. Go back to the selection tool. We can drag this all the way over. And now it should you should see it. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the original TIFF back in here. Actually, I'm going to file. Actually, I didn't bring it in, so let's let's import it. Uh, TIFF to one Brendan. TIFF to one Brendan. We'll stick that right underneath it. And now it looks like a a perfect still image. All right, we're going to delete. We're going to un going to unclip these or why is there we go and we will right click this and we will remove it from its group we will unlink it I will then delete the audio here take this audio well first of course we will unlink it and we will drag the audio all the way underneath here play it again so the music still goes with it and we'll bring him up one layer and then we will find our graphic and bring it underneath here, which I picked the Whippets graphic. Hellotro, Helitro, whatever. It basically stands for helicopter intro. Hellotro, if uh, it's kind of silly, but all right, we'll drop it in on layer video two right here. And now you'll see the difference. It's a little big because I think I brought in the high definition version, which is not a big deal. We can actually double click it and we will then we will take the fit, come down to about 25%, double click, not this, the hello tro, and it's not working for me. Okay, I'll have to edit this out and 